Devin, what are we looking at? A big doe. Big doe? A fat doe. Look at the size of that thing. She's a cow. Looks like she's pregnant, but she's got two babies with her. That fat sow's eating good. Well, we back at it. Got a uh, whole big red over this morning. I'll tell you what, that's a pretty damn truck still. To be an 03. Joseph got the old, uh, one of the old 424s over here, been spraying fence lines and stuff and been mowing. Had a few issues with our old uh, 45 here with the fuel. It's not old, it's new, but uh, we got it figured out and she's running good now. Pull up here and get this thing fueled up. More mowing done over here at the new farm. I'm gonna check the back side of the Delta T today, so uh, appreciate y'all being here. Come go with us. We'll get some work done here on the farm. along pretty good trying to cut the sunshine it's burning most of the dew off the grass high weeds and grass and dolphins it's easier to cut it I mean it's still early to be cutting but try to cut the sunshine it's not as wet and don't clog up the mower but we'll jump off here and run to the back side of the Delta T and show y'all stay tuned I'll show y'all something about hunting ethics that is so true, and it happens a lot. That's why people get aggravated about deer hunting. So, y'all see this? Y'all see this ladder stand, right? And this tree, and this fence line. That side is Joseph's new farm. The other side of that tree, and this side, the side that I'm standing on, is the old farm. Previous owners of this farm, we know them. Joseph knows them. A young man, who, I mean, he's a young man. He's older than a teenager now, which means he's old enough to know better. But uh, this is the kind of shit that goes on. Um, one day this past week, and the Delta T is. This is the back side of the Delta T, actually, where I'm standing, but over these, uh, all this scrub brush is the pines 
and right over there is the corner of the Delta T. It's like right through here. Last year, um, I think it won, I want to say it was the first week of December, me, Jules, and I were hunting and shot. I was in a Delta T and a shot was close to me, and I thought it was Joseph because he was on the other side in the big field. And he's like, was that you? I said, no, is that you? No. And, we, you know, we found out, but it's the kind of crap you deal with. Anyways, but it don't matter now because you got it both. Anyways, so, deer back here running this fence line, they always do. I mean, I'm pretty much in the, in the back of the ponds that surround the Delta T. And you're looking at the new farm. When he first bought it this year and we walked the property, of course, he knows it, you know, he grew up here. Um, we were walking the fence line on both sides and ran into the tree stand. He's like, Rondy, look, I said, well, that makes sense about that hunt in December. He said, hell yeah. yeah. Calling and asking and getting permission. And then just doing it on your own, two different things. Yeah. It's a newer one. It's a 20, 20 Arctic Cat Rowler Pro. Crew UTV or ROV, which is technically what it's called, a recreational off-road vehicle. Um, out of all the UTVs that I've serviced here in the last couple months, side by side, this has probably been the easiest one. It's damn near a Bobcat. It's like the same, almost the same Bobcat engine as on one of the skid steers. Old Joseph keeps me out here in the pasture to graze. There's the project. But I'm working on that today. I almost got him servicing this thing up here, waiting for a filter for it. I'll give you all a tour around the shop. So, damn, Swamp Coolers ain't even running. It's been so cool here. Hey, look who's getting their shit serviced up there. Old quality care. What's up, Robbie? What's up? What's up, James? What's up, bro? Let me interview you. Let me interview no. the, the racers over here. No. This is the drag race for <laughs> Lunsford, and this is the round track race for Lunsford. Joe Lunsford, driver the number 22. Ronnie, what's the name? What's the number of your car, your pony? You ain't even got a number on it for dragging. RX 14. RX 14. Yeah. How many times you won a track championship here in Roxboro? Four. Four! You're the man! <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. School shopping's so fun, ain't it? What are we doing? Look at me. What are we doing? We're waiting for, we're waiting for your sister to try stuff on. So much, so much easier to shop for boys. I can't remember ever being able to school shop with the kids. I know. You going? Come back here. Oh, knock on the old mower. We're teaching them how to cut the field. Hey, you're doing good, man. Watch where you're going with the tire. I just come around the corner up here, back to the orchard. I caught a boy out right here in front of the barn. Mm. I think that was about maybe 70 yards. He's sitting right on top of that rock. I saw him over here the other day.
she was sitting right here on top of that rock. I'll tell you what, this, uh, this Savage 22250, this thing is surgical. I think that's like the fifth, fourth or fifth groundhog I've killed with this year. They've been doing a number on some of the bean spots. You can tell it ain't, it ain't hard to find them. Pull this guy out here. They always got flies and shit covered all over them. Mm. Yeah, right behind the shoulder, buddy. I've been up there. Yeah, he's sitting right here on this rock. I love getting behind barns and stuff. I was right over there at the corner of the water pipes. Killing season's almost upon us. Oh. That's like shit. No, nah, it's a bunch of. Everything over there but the damn pork bed. Right? Yeah, they can't leave well enough damn long. What's going on over here today, brother? Oh, I'll try to put up some lights so when time changes, I can get over and feed in the dog. Joseph's work. Ain't enough hours in the day. <laughs> enough hours in the day. Yeah. Let's maybe my cows are like it. Shit. Maybe we can make them <laughs> up. We said I had that on video. When you just drove back, drove back around the side of the farm, they all come off and run into you. I just climbed up on the ladder in there, drilling. They just stand there and watch me work. They don't care. They just like dogs. That bull just laying down. Yeah, he don't care. 318 still crazy as hell, but I can't do nothing about that. There she is. Did it. Now, I told Diddy when we first got that thing, I said, she ain't going to be here long. She's too crazy. No, she's fine. She's fine. Blah, blah, blah. Well, now that umbrella, he's standing there and talking to me the other day. He says, you need to hurry and get rid of that thing. <laughs> That's what I've been saying all day. I've been asking bread. I said, I'm going to wait and see what kind of calf I get off of it. No, I'm going to get rid of them now. I just don't understand. Maybe he's, maybe he's just getting too old. He's losing, forgetting what he's saying. I don't know. Are, yeah. you, are you happy with the way the barn came out? I'm tickled to death. A few little odds and ends, you know, I'm going to address. Well, just like this with lights. I mean, you know, yeah. things I want to improve as we go. But yeah, I'm tickled compared to what it was. Oh man, six months ago, this place looked completely different. Oh yeah, Lisa, we rode over the other night, and uh, Lisa was looking at everything, and uh, she was like, this place looks 100% better than what it did when you first bought it. I'm like, oh yeah, we, and we still got a long way to go, but we getting there. Good morning, everybody. And I'm in the pull cards, the West Buddy Stand. Put some more... Uh, corn out over here. Oh. I haven't pulled this one. Oh boy, they've been here. Annihilated it. Funny thing, last year let me turn this camera off. Last year, uh, I noticed that they um, they were tearing through our corn at all these feed sites probably about four or five days and I put out about 25 30 pounds every time um, usually the prior years it'd take you know seven to eight nine days ten days and it'd be clean but last year we didn't have not one white oak on this farm red oaks did okay but not one white oak on this farm had any acorns last year but this year it's uh it's looking good so it's, it's lasting longer plus they're eating the beans and stuff on the farm too plenty of stuff to forge on but uh i don't know kind of excited to get this these these cards back and put them up on the computer and see what we got going on here Just thanks for being here North car whitetails you can see there ain't nothing We know they've been here. 
in this great country we live in, you can do. What can you do, Devon? Yeah, I can't help it. I want to bring y'all along with me. They're here. We've got a pattern. Norcar whitetails. So I just went and pulled the cards. I'm going to give y'all a snapshot. Snapshot. Me and Doc are down here looking in the den. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm not going to say you no more. I'm getting amped up right now.